In the pitch black night of April 26, 1986, a nuclear reactor in Pripyat became a ticking time bomb. Valery Legasov knew something no one else did. Chernobyl was about to become the worst nuclear disaster in human history. Two workers rushed through steam-filled corridors, alarms screaming. Reactor 4's core had already melted down, invisible radiation flooding every surface. Nobody understood the true horror unfolding. Legasov arrived hours later, his crisp Soviet military uniform a stark contrast to the chaos. He saw firefighters in thin cotton uniforms, treating radioactive graphite like ordinary debris. Their hands would blister. Their lungs would burn. Many would die within weeks. Soviet officials wanted silence, cover-up, deny everything. But Legasov saw death differently. Each invisible radiation particle was a silent killer, moving through human tissue like a ghost. Children would be born with mutations. Entire ecosystems would collapse. An invisible apocalypse was spreading faster than any government could control. He made a choice. Documentation. Truth. Against direct orders, Legasov began meticulously recording every detail. Radiation levels. Equipment failures. Human errors. His notes would become a damning indictment of Soviet scientific arrogance. In the following years, he would testify, revealing systemic failures that caused the catastrophe. His revelations would cost him everything. His career his reputation, ultimately his life. When he died by suicide in 1988, he left behind detailed journals exposing the Soviet nuclear program's fatal flaws. His final act was a profound act of truth-telling, ensuring the world would never forget Chernobyl's terrible lesson. Some stories burn themselves into history. This was one of them.